it's day three here at Web Summit, and even though there's a, there's a bit of rain and clouds, you can see that there are still thousands of people. We're just outside um, the first pavilion in the, the main stadiums right behind me. And I wanted to share a couple of takeaways from some of the key talks that I attended and the CEOs I've heard from. The first was this uh, amazing story of a company named Miro. If you don't know who Miro is, it's a company that's now at its latest valuation worth $17.5 billion. It's a real-time collaboration tool. And one of the keys to his success, he went from 3 million to 50 million users recently in the last two years. One of the keys to his success, he said, was using hundreds of thousands of pieces of customer feedback to help develop their product roadmap. So when we talk about human experience, so many people think, oh, that's just customer experience. That's just maybe market research. No, we're talking about things like product experience as well. We had another company, um, the CEO said, uh, very similar. You need to design products with, with empathy. And she was talking about how you need to think not about your customers after you've designed your product, but involve your customers in testing, in focus groups, and bring empathy in your product when you're building it. There was another uh, uh, CEO, the CIO of iCapital, who talked about how innovation is on top of everyone's minds right now. And if you're not innovating in, this, in these hard times, then you're falling behind. But one of the things he also said was innovation is so hard because employees associate innovation with change. And there's so many negative and fear sentiments associated with change. And he even brought up the need for things like challenges and employee voting, which is exactly what Forza's frontline innovation tool does. And so I was so excited to hear that this, this capability that we added just a few months ago is one of the things that, especially right now, can help drive businesses forward. And the last thing I'll leave you with is we had an incredible dinner last night with Nicholas Mekla, who's a senior partner at McKinsey and was the founder of their CX practice. Everyone in the room was a CX practitioner, individuals who run and own and are responsible for CX programs in their companies. And one of the things he said at the end was, when a customer gives you feedback, think of that as a debt. And we all hear about feedback as a gift, but we don't hear about it as a debt or a present. And that's something we need to embrace. It's something we need to give back to those customers uh, and, 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 and give back more, give back that debt, repay that debt with interest. I thought that was a great way to think about the job of CX professionals. And I can't wait for Night Summit tonight. If you're here, uh, we'll see you out. And if you're around tomorrow, come by our booth in Pavilion D. Thanks everyone.